Alan McDevitt, Health and Safety Advisor, Bill Finger, the barrier I own is Fabric Maintenance. The act of Fabric Maintenance is protecting, preserving and prolonging the life of the assets. A good, forward-looking, proactive Fabric Maintenance campaign can ensure that the asset doesn't fall foul of excessive corrosion and unnecessary damage. If, however, corrosion is already present, damage such as CUI, corrosion under insulation, heavy salt deposits, and indeed guano, good fabric maintenance can ensure that these are repaired and protected. So our assets, they work and operate in a harsh environment, especially in the North Sea, where if they are left to their own devices without a good forward-looking proactive fabric maintenance campaign will very rapidly um, descend into a state of um, disrepair. If it gets too far, once the corrosion is in there and the, the substrate's eaten away to, to beyond repair, then once it's gone, it's gone. Um, if the fabric maintenance is imposed before that happens, then um, the, the cost is kept in, the safety um, of the personnel is maintained, the hydrocarbons are uh, kept within the pipes, um, therefore you know, protecting the environment, protecting the safety of the individuals and indeed removing the, the need to have any um, costly lengthy shutdowns. The best tool in the box that we've got as individuals is our senses. When every single employee, worker out on the asset is going about their business, they need to make sure that they are always on the lookout for anything out of the out of the normal. Use their eyes to see, to look and see if they can spot any excessive corrosion, any leaks, any damages to instruments, anything which um, just doesn't look right. Use their hearing. If they hear anything um, which they're not normally used to, it could be hissing noises, the sound of running water. Also use your, your smell. If you smell anything um, untowards, something out of the unusual, again, report it. What we all need to remember is that no question is a daft question. If you see it, you own it. Report it, ask the question, seek advice, get a second opinion. Because if it doesn't look right, if it doesn't smell right, if it doesn't sound right, then it probably isn't. So go and seek advice, ask the question. So ask yourself, if you see something that doesn't seem quite right, will you report it? Will you have the moral courage to ensure that you go and seek advice? Ask the question. Remember, no question is a silly question. If it doesn't seem right, it probably isn't. So go, ask the question, report it. Don't just leave it, don't assume that someone else will.